what's up guys welcome back to another video today in this video i'm going to flash the nusantara project version 3 which is latest build for redmi 7 and redmi y3 as well so now let's get started i already booted my device on recovery so after that wipe dial big data cache system and vendor and after that just do a format data and i always recommend you guys to do a clean flash you guys can see here format data and type yes already typed so factory reset when done now navigate to the folder where you have stored your files i have on sd card so i'm ready to know so you guys can see here the nusantara project and this is a problem because nusantara uh, comes with zar file this is a zar file this is not a zip file and we can't flash a zar file on recovery so that's why we need to rename that so just press and hold and click on rename and just delete that portion and keep on zip just swipe to confirm and we are done now you guys can see we can flash the ROM. Now select that file and swipe to flash. So flashing almost done you guys can see and this is a vanilla version so we need to flash uh, Play Store uh, that's why we need to flash G apps. So you guys can see here the bit gaps and nick gaps we have and I'm going to flash bit gaps for now because this is light version and uh, device will run smoothly so that's why i'm using the bit caps so now swipe to flash when it will be done then just reboot system and your device will boot no issues on that and if you want to root your device then you guys can flash magics higher than 21 point something whatever you want to flash magic 23 uh 3.0 version available you guys can flash also that no problem so flash already done just click on reboot system and wait until your device boots up so you guys can see the nusantara logo so that's why we can say device is booting so don't worry about that and after completing setup i will make a full review of that room and gaming review everything i will provide you guys so don't worry so this is nusantara rom and i am going to play pubg on that rom so let's see this rom can play smooth or not now let's check out some movements so you guys can see it's uh, smoothly running and my battery charge is uh, really very bad now it's uh, around 26 percent now so that's why it can lag but uh, gameplay will be good no problem you guys can play games easily in that room this is nusantara i will just show you some some a little bit gameplay for you our uh, uh, ensure man so i'm jumping now
This is a really bad thing on PUBG Mobile. When you were applying bandages or reading a first kit, then you can't run. I hate this thing so much. Oh, I don't have the ammo. Oh, so you guys already watched the flashing process. Now I'm going to review that ROM. Rusan Nusantara, you guys already know that. And uh, now let me show you from the settings. And we have a different look here. You guys can see. Uh, on previous Nusantaras, we don't have that look. And you guys can add your uh, ownership here. And you guys can search here. And we got a different look here. And on about phone you guys can see here different look also here and we have that specifications you guys already know about that and let me show you some settings on every settings you guys will get a different uh, uh, uh sorry this gonna be a different animation you guys can see here the animation on every uh, single customization you guys will get that and gestures you guys already know what we have and it's working pretty much fine no issues on that and i'm using a uh, vanilla version you guys can uh use any kind of g apps no issues on that and no no restrictions and i will provide every single uh information what's working and what's not and actually i didn't get any bug actually it depends on users and we have gaming mode dark team fps info and which is working you guys can see here the fps which is working here and we have reading mode and you guys can see it's working and dark theme we also get working and we have night light here which is also working so no issues and gaming mode also working and now let me show you on security system we have that fingerprint face unlock and of course app locker we have we have built-in app lock system you guys uh, already know that on every uh, android 11 roms we are getting that feature now by default so you guys can use that and face unlock and fingerprint is really fast is working pretty much fine no issue on that and on display settings what do we have styles and wallpapers let me show you we have so many wallpapers inbuilt you guys can use that wallpapers so many wallpapers are there and they are working really good and you guys can see i'm already using one wallpaper here and double tap to wake up is working pretty much fine UI background blur which is working accidental wake up you guys can enable that feature so uh, so that when you keep your device on your pockets and uh device light will not blink and 
and every screen will not wake up so and let me show you now the battery backup I have already used 6 hour and 37 minutes and I have played games and let me clear one thing on Android 11 it's not a stable battery backup yet we don't have that so uh, comparing all this this is a really good ROM for battery backup you guys can see I got here and you guys will get more uh, because I played games so you guys if you are a normal user then you will get huge battery backup on that ROM no issues on that and on network section what do we have uh, we have Wi-Fi section and mobile data section let me show you one thing and we have Boldy working and why we have Wi-Fi and carrier video calling and some of you guys are keep asking me uh, carrier video calling working or not so here is the carrier video calling you guys can see and we have all that features and we have huge customization on Nusantara wings you guys already know about that customizations themes we have you guys can change any you guys can see here huge kind of uh, features are available in that section we have the transparent random accent the Nusantara backgrounds and category style you guys can change without navbar and depth with navbar so many customizations and theme light theme I'm using and so many themes are available you guys can use no problem on that and icon shapes you guys can change whatever you want and brightness slider status bar height and you guys can change everything here settings theme whatever you want and notifications we have a huge kind of and is lighting is working no problem on that if you guys want to enable that feature when notification will come and this light will blink and gaming mode is working and signature spoofing is working no issues on that and allows apps to bypass security systems uh, it will help to bypass your security system no problem on that so this feature is really great allow signature spoofing so i suggest you guys to enable that feature and we have a screen of animation so you guys can see here and we have more customizations log screen items fingerprint references so many things you guys can uh, check yourself no problem on that battery options quick sharing traffic indicators everything is just working pretty much fine and you guys can see So we have all these customizations you guys can check yourself no problem now let me show you some basic things um, which is GPU throttling I have already tested and let me show the GPU throttling and you guys can see here it's 74% and which is not impressive actually but it's not bad and I don't believe well in all those things because I believe in real life performance and on real life performance I didn't get any problem so no problem with that and let me show you the safety net status by default secondary status it passed so no issues on that if you want to root then you can root no problem and let me show you the gigmatch scores i already ran it and on three you guys can see single code is 265 and multi code is 1087 and which is really good which is really good you guys can believe me and if you guys want to use on your daily life you guys can easily use that room no problem on that and soon I will provide uh, darkest latest version has released for 2GB RAM and 3GB RAM version and I will provide that uh, soon so that's the video guys if you guys really like that video then do subscribe and hit the bell icon and never miss the further update so thank you for watching